Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 29 of my Ultimate Python 3 tutorial series. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to continue learning more about regular expressions. And here is everything we have learned so far. First, we learned this is the way that you can find a specific match, and the reg, reg X right here is representative of your regular expression. Here is the way that we can get a list of matches. Down here is how we can get a pattern object we can use to match our regular expressions and get access to a whole bunch of different functions. And this is how we would come in and substitute. And then you can see here is where we would match what is inside of brackets, match everything that match everything except what's inside of brackets with the little caret. Here we can match any one character or space, new line, any one number, anything but a number. The lowercase w with the backslash is the same as this, which is basically any letter or number, whether they are lowercase or uppercase. This is anything except those. This is any white space or tabs and all those different things, anything except white space. And this will be used if we want to match five of what proceeds, and this is to match values that are between five and seven. So that's everything we have covered so far, and now let's jump over and learn some more. All right, so what I'm going to do now is show you how to match 0 or 1 of something. So I'm going to go random string is equal to, and we'll have cat and cats. And let's say we want to match both of them. So I'm going to go create my regular expression, compile that, and then inside of here I will say cat and close that off. And then I'll put a plus sign inside of there with an S and then a question mark and that is going to say that maybe this will be here and maybe it won't be here I will then say matches is equal to re find all and regular expression and random string which is what we're searching for and of course I'm gonna have to come in here and import the regular expression module otherwise all kinds of problems will be had and then I can come in here and cycle through any of the matches that I had so let's just print those out on the screen run it and you can see that it matches for cat as well as cats alright so now let's learn how to match for zero or more this time I'm gonna come in and put in doctor doctor doctors or doctors and let's see how we can match for those so again I'm gonna create the regular expression compile this and then I will say doctor followed with a plus sign and then all of the potential matches we can have in addition by putting a star symbol inside of there once again we will say matches is equal to re find all regular expression and the string that we are testing for and then I can say print matches and let's see how many matches we received we're expecting three and you can see that we got three so cool stuff you're also going to be able to do the same by setting an interval match. So we could come in and put our plus sign inside of here and do curly brackets, get rid of that, and say 0 through 2. And if we do that, you're going to see that you get exactly the same results. So good stuff. And now that you have learned that, what I want you to do is try to solve this problem. All right, so on Windows computers, new lines are sometimes represented by a backslash N, and sometimes they are represented by a backslash R backslash N. What I want you to do is to create a regular expression that will grab each of the lines in this string and then print out the number of matches and each line. And here is going to be your sample string. All right, so here we have a regular new line, and here we're going to have the addition to a backslash r. So once again, try to create a regular expression that will grab each of the lines in this string and print out the number of matches and each line. All right, so pause your video and give that a try, otherwise I'm going to solve it right now. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to say matches like this, and 
I'm going to say length re find all and I am going to use a raw string here and remember we're using all kinds of things that we have used in the past parts of this tutorial so I'm going to say that I want letters or numbers and a space plus sign which is going to be one or more of what proceeds then I'm going to have a backslash R I'm going to put a question mark in there because we don't know if we're going to have it or not and then I'm going to put a new line which we know we will have and then I will follow that up with long string which is what we're going to be searching for again I'm going to say matches is equal to re find all so then I'm just going to copy what I already did here because there's no point in retyping it paste that inside of there and of course we're going to do this on our long string and then after we do that we can come in and I can print out in matches and print I and we can run it and you're going to see that we had one match and we were able to come in here and print out each one of the words for our, our different lines of that were included in our string alright so hopefully you got that if not don't worry about it and now what we're gonna do is talk about greedy versus lazy matching alright so this is something that confuses a lot of people but it will not be confusing anymore so let's say I have some sort of tags that I want to pull information out of. So I'm going to say life on Mars like this and let's get that extra period out of there and then I'm going to have another one name and freaks and geeks. Okay these are two television shows if you don't know what I'm doing here. Alright so there we have our string. Now first what I'm going to try to do is grab everything just between those name tags using the information that we already know about how to, to create regular expressions. So I'm going to go and compile this and I'm going to go and say I want to use a raw string and I'm going to go name and dot with a star. Dot of course is going to match any one character or space and the star is going to represent zero or more of what precedes it and then after I do that I'm going to say name like this and that should work right we should be able to get life on Mars and freaks and geeks out of there well let's see how many matches we were able to get re find all and pass the regular expression in and the random string inside of there and then we can print the number of matches that we have length matches and then we can come in and also print out said matches like that right okay so we should be able to get what we expect and instead what we get is life on Mars and freaks and geeks and we don't get individually what we were looking for that is a problem but we will solve it basically what is happening here is this star is what we call greedy which means it grabs the biggest match possible so we can't get what we want which is the individual tag matches so what we want is name and life on Mars and then we want name and freaks and geeks so how do we get those so what we're gonna do instead is replace this guy right here with a question mark and this is going to say that we want to grab the smallest match possible and you could also use this with the plus sign or the whenever you just use your curly brackets and you list the numbers you know like two to three matches or whatever alright but we're gonna do it with a star still okay so we grab that just with that little tiny change to our code we're now gonna be able to get both lines of input and I'll show you in a later tutorial how to actually get just this part out of here alright so that's how easy it is to go and grab the smallest part versus the biggest part and that is all it is in regards to how complicated greedy versus lazy matching is alright and now to finish off the tutorial I'm gonna cover word boundaries alright so we are going to use word boundaries to define where our matches start as well as end and backslash B 
is going to match the start or end of a word. So once again, if we have random string is equal to, let's go ape at the apex. What we can do is go regular expression is equal to re compile and say that we want to match. Well, let's just go in here and do a raw string again just for the heck of it. We'll say ape. But we would get a completely different result if we would go and use a word boundary. So we can say regular expression 2, or regular expression yeah 2, like that. And instead, come in and compile this differently. Paste that inside of there. And backslash B, and backslash B. And then we can check our matches equal to RE find all and we can do our regular regular expression with our random string and then we can try it for our second one as well matches two and regular expression two and then print out our matches matches one at the end and matches and then do the same thing for the second one boink and change that to that, and change that to that. And if we run it, you're gonna see in the first situation when we do not use those word boundaries that we grab both ape as well as apex, while whenever we use the word boundaries, we just grab the first ape. All right, so hopefully you're starting to feel more like a regular expression expert. We're going to be covering what we covered here again in the tutorials that follow to reinforce everything you got in your head. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.